right, here we are, same day as the brake failure that you just saw in the last episode. Uh, we're going to try and try and make a coolant, what would you call this, like coolant relocation? Yeah. So I'll flip the camera around and we can explain what's going to happen. All right, so we got this guy right here. What we're going to do is just pound a screw in there and then yank her out. And then, yeah, that's basically going to go down in there. And then we're just going to try and figure out a mounting system of some sort. And, uh, yeah, so basically this will come out and that will be our spout for the um, coolant. And, uh, yeah, there's not really much more to say than other than that. So let's try and get this thing out and then, uh, go from there. All right, so we got this guy. This guy is super snug, basically. We're going to be able to pound it in. And then we're probably just gonna make a tab to that guy because that guy's pretty accessible. And then we'll uh, weld the guy to there and pray for something. And then we've got this guy and I'm gonna cut it and then I'll weld this to it so that way it sticks out a little bit further because this is too big. This is an inch and a half. Um, so yeah. And then it's inch and three eighths inside there. Barely, so. All right, let's do that. All right, so. We uh, welded that piece together, and then Paul made this little tabby guy, and I'm gonna weld it on, and then we'll drill out this hole a little bit bigger, and then we'll uh, send it. So let's do that. All right, there it is. Got it welded on. Now we're waiting for paint to dry, um, and then we're going to, so I taped off the side that's gonna get pressed in. We'll put some uh, gasket maker for water pumps on there, and then that should do the trick. And we'll pound her in and hope to God we line that hole up because that'd be a real damn shame. But yeah, that's where we're at. All right, guys, there it is. Bolted on there. It, it shouldn't go anywhere. It's actually pretty in there. So we got some RTV in there. Um, and then, yeah, we'll probably, I don't know if we're going to be able to. I, it won't even let me see down in there. Because it looks like there's a, a sizable space behind there. So, look at that. Well, yeah. So, there's that. That's how you do that. Um, I think there's a little bit more to it. What yeah. else? We gotta, you gotta like pull the head or something like that. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull the head. So, we actually, we made a block off plate for this thing too, which would have been the thermostat, water neck, and all that. Obviously, I think you've seen that in a previous one. I think I did an update on it. Yeah, I think so. So, yeah. but yeah. We gotta do, we gotta pull the head and drill two coolant holes in the back here because it'll create steam and you don't want that because this area will get hotter because there's not as much circulation so you got to get more more flow going back there yeah because you don't want to create a hot spot because then yeah that cylinder will get hot and could detonate that'd be bad yeah so but yeah that's it for this one guys like comment subscribe see you guys in the next one hey kid this is actually where we're done uh, we ended up drilling the hole in the timing cover, and so yeah, it's in there good. And this thing looks pretty sweet. Um, I don't know if I went over it in last one, but no, I don't think we did. But we got really tight clearances. Make sure you can see it. Uh, the serpentine belt sits lower than that lip, so we're good to go. But yeah, that's actually where we're gonna end it. So you know the drill, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. See you in the next one.